So I just read an article that says the factor that 30,000 people a year, for years now, get wrongfully convicted because of the factor that law enforcement's roadside, you know, substance uh, tester is faulty. Now, when I say faulty, I mean faulty. All right? Some of the things that have ended up going ahead and giving a false positive, which, by the way, the company that makes the drug test, the field sobriety test now, is being sued. All right? They're being sued by um, the Department of Corrections. All right? So, some of the things that have gone and given a false positive. Bird poop. Alright? So, apparently, bird poop came up with a false positive for cocaine. Another thing that ended up coming up as a uh, positive for cocaine. Cotton candy. Alright? So, if you eat cotton candy, understand. Having cotton candy on you. We're having it anywhere near you, all right? Which, by the way, for people that deal with low blood sugar, understand, using that as a quick glucose up could land you in prison, all right? So you can go to prison for eating cotton candy, all right? Another one, glazed donuts. So, by the way, law enforcement, are we going to go ahead and make a stipulation for you to keep your job to go ahead and have to use that field sobriety test to find out if you're staying away from the Krispy Kreme? Hmm? You know, we, we do we get to give you the maximum sentence? And the statement that was made, all right, by the judge handling this case was saying that the accuracy of it is the equivalent of a coin flip. All right? There have also been attorneys that are having to deal with legal circumstances now because of the factor that, because of those same field sobriety tests, they have been accused of smuggling narcotics in to their clients. All right? So now you have... Attorneys facing drug charges because of a faulty field sobriety test that law enforcement is using to go ahead and determine if you are in any way, shape, or form utilizing illicit substances. Alright? And ultimately, if law enforcement ends up being wrong about that, they could lose their job. So if they accuse you regardless, they're going to do anything that they can to make that narrative stick. All right. Now, everyone that has been a victim of that. Understand, all of us are allowed to sue in mass. Especially because of the amount of discrimination that ends up happening during hiring, during, you know... The attempt of getting, you know, access to, you know, public safety net resources like Social Security, Disability, Section 8, you know, Housing Voucher, you know, Housing and Urban Development. Yeah. We get discriminated against because of a factor of a test that was wrong. So the test was wrong. All right, but that stigma sticks in society. All right, end up losing job opportunities. Oh, and uh, you know, if you were doing any type of ROTC program or you know, helping out with the you know, disabled civilian program, any type of study as far as the statistics of you know, sexual assault that ends up happening based on gender. You know, a a anything along those lines. If you had any type of aspirations for a federal government job, you know, 
consider that goodbye. It, it's kaput. It's gone. Your career, out the window. Everything that you worked for, gone. So all of that, because instead of admitting fault, which literally, there's a way that the cops can go ahead and be able to get out of it without having to start harassment campaigns or worry about their jobs, you know. Literally, if you wrongfully accuse somebody, make the consequences be part of the restitutions. The officers have to go ahead and apologize to the wrongfully accused. You need to go ahead and make a public statement to the wrongfully accused. Go ahead and fix all aspects of defamation towards the accused. And work out some type of agreement that would be able to help the wrongfully accused work towards building trust back with not only society, but also with law enforcement. While at the same time, for them to avoid culpability, their side of the story, they could be like, I am sorry that my personal bias made me believe something about you that was not true. And I am sorry that I tried making that story stick. Now that we know that the test was faulty, we could agree the factor that it was not as much my fault. All right? My response was my fault. And I take full responsibility and accountability for that. But the accountability of the situation escalating disproportionately is on the fault of the creators of the test. Oh my god. You know, you'd have to be, you know, in an Ivy League college or, you know, one of the most brilliant people in the world to ever come with such... A peaceful and diplomatic solution. Oh my god. Who, who could have ever thought. That there could be a resolution. You know to such extremes. You know. Maybe there could be things that could be done. Like for example. Helping with the reestablishment into society. You know that came along with those stigmas. You know because of all those losses of opportunity. Oh my god. Oh my god. We 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 we've gotta tell the rocket scientist. We we've gotta tell the engineers of the world. We have to let the military know. We have to let every politician in society know. We have to scream it from the rooftops. Let all of the countries know. <laughs> 